everybody, my name is Davis, and welcome back to another video, and today we are here for another severe weather breakdown. Now today, we're going to be talking about a once per winter storm that could bring heavy snowfall, strong tornadoes, potentially damaging winds, and even large hail. So let's go ahead and get right into it here, starting off with the SPC outlook for today, where we have no risks for severe weather. Moving on to tomorrow, we have a marginal risk of severe weather across most of southern Dixie Alley here. Tornado threat for tomorrow you have a 2% chance to see a tornado within 25 miles of any given uh, point in the green blob there. Okay, so we could be looking at a tornado or two possible tomorrow, but most of the tornadic threat should stay in the Gulf of Mexico, creating a lot of water spouts, okay? Damaging wind threat tomorrow, you have a 5% chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles per hour or higher within 25 miles of any given location in the brown there. I'm imagining we'll see a storm or two that will reach uh, its peak at about 60 mile per hour wind gusts, so look out for that. Hail is not really a threat for tomorrow uh so moving on to uh, saturday here sorry i forgot what uh, day three was but it's gonna be saturday we already have a marginal risk of severe weather up here for most of florida and then southeastern georgia okay and then going into sunday we have no risks for severe weather but i imagine a marginal risk will be issued and then on monday we have a slight risk of severe weather extending from southeast texas back into extreme southwestern georgia there this yellow blob includes about uh, 14 million people, okay, so we're really gonna have to look out for that, and then we get into Tuesday, we have another slight risk of severe weather now, a day six slight risk, including most of northern and central Florida, as well as southeast Alabama and southern Georgia, okay, so look out for that as well, this is going to be a multi-day complex dangerous storm that we really have to look out for, so let's go ahead and break it down more with the GFS model here, so right now, we're looking at the beginning stages of our storm developing here in the four corner states, bringing heavy snowfall and some rain showers to portions of New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, and Arizona. This is going to move off to the east, uh, potentially bring some heavy snowfall to the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma, as well as southern Kansas, but also bring rain on the southern side of it. And then we'll really start to see our first potential threat for severe weather on Friday, where we could be looking at some isolated supercells popping up here in portions of Louisiana and Texas, okay? And then we get into Saturday, and that's where the severe threat really ramps up. We could be looking at a line of damaging uh, wind thunderstorms potentially moving through southern Dixie Alley, okay? So we're really going to have to keep an eye on that on Saturday. Now that will move off to the east, but then we get into Sunday here, that will move off to the north and the east and potentially create a nor'easter event for lots of New England, okay? Around Saturday and Sunday we could be looking at some extremely heavy snowfall, so look out for that. And then we get into Monday and we're going to see a new storm complex pop up here, which is going to bring our Monday and Tuesday threats for severe weather, which are looking just as, if not even more intense than the days coming up, okay? So we've really got to look out for this. This could be a potential severe weather slash tornado outbreak on the horizon, okay? As well as a big snowstorm across portions of the Midwest and Deep South, all right? So what's next after we get out of this phase? Well, it's hard to tell since at this point we are forecasting over 200 hours out, but it's looking like we could be looking at another similar event for portions of the Deep South as well as the Midwest. Another strong thunderstorm slash snowstorm event for lots of the United States and then after that it's really a complete wash this is just a guess by the models at this point okay so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe stay prepared everybody especially on Monday and Tuesday those are our main days for severe weather threats so look out for that and I will see you all in the next one peace